Good morning. This is Pastor Zach with the Goodland United Methodist Church with a morning devotion for Thursday, May 31st. Today I'll be reading from 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At the time Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, when the ark of, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. And he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you have called me. But he said, I did not call, my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak for your servant is listening. This passage from Samuel is one of my favorites and has been since I was a youth. This idea of God calling someone and not being sure where the voice is coming from and not having any clue how to respond, assuming that it was someone close in your life that was calling out to you. In Samuel's case, it was Eli who was his mentor and teacher and who he was working for. Assumed it was him calling him and went to that voice because that is usually who was calling for him. But it was something bigger than that. And you see, it happened time and time again, and Samuel continued to to miss who was calling him until Eli finally realized what was going on. Now, as I think about this text, I think of it in two ways. One, how often are we Samuel? How often is God calling us and God putting out signs for us to follow, and we aren't hearing exactly where it's coming from or who it is? And we go off and respond to the wrong things. We go to the wrong places, and we don't always have someone who can guide us like Samuel did. And I also think about the fact that how often can we be the people who guide others to God calling them? How often can we be the Eli's for others that help them discern and see when God is speaking to them and God is calling them? We have times in our lives where we're the Samuel and times in our lives where we can be Eli, but all of those times require us to listen and for the Lord and follow the Lord's lead so we know exactly where we're going. The Goodly United Methodist Church Vacation Bible School, Kingdom Rock, begins on Monday, June 4th, and will go until Friday that week, June 8th, uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. each day. Kingdom Rock Vacation Bible School is where kids stand strong for God. So enter the epic adventure that empowers kids to stand strong. God's victorious power isn't a fairy tale. It changes kids forever. You can pre-register for the week by going to goodlandumc.org backslash VBS 2018, or you can find us on Facebook to connect with the registration link there. Have a blessed day.